<laughs> That's so cool. Little pipes up there, Neil. Those are awesome, dude. Those are awesome. Crazy. Hey guys, gonna check out the A Castro Toy Show. Why don't you come with us? Kinds of stuff here. We're not even inside yet. This is like the lobby. Guy back there with creative comics, but we'll check that on the way out. Too many people. I want to start collecting these. It's only one of 25 scale, but Ravel, look how good they did with that. These are different Saturday Night Live. Earth, dude. Yeah, those are different. Oh, that's all bent. Terminator. Oh, my Starsky and Hutch. Too bad it's not the right color. Damn it. The old bootleg guys. Oh, it got some vintage it looks like. Ah, there's an old Corby there. Bill would like that. I like the Popeye too here. Ah, I like some of the old mag comic books. They're awesome. All kinds of cool stuff here. Just a good mix. Oh, that one's cool. That's the one I need right there. 110. Damn it, I need it. Well, he made a good deal on this, and he had the dirty Ertl vanishing point for 110 as well. The boxes are dead mint, but he made us a good deal for both. So, unboxing tonight. Oh, there's something you don't see often. Didn't even know that existed. Vintage Ultra Hots, but it's a three pack, probably from the 80s. That's cool, regular. Creamy. Booth here with the vintage slot car track. Like the Fall Guy one. Wish I had space. All these cool slot cars. Check that out. They got good ones. Happy birthday, General, that looks like. That's cool. They made a slot car out of an RLC legend. Slot cars, guys. Fall Guy, Dixie Challenger. Got all kinds of cool ones. Waiting for Glenn to show them those slot cars. Taking them a minute. I like the color of that. Yeah. There's the Dixie Challenger right there. That's cool. Very cool. Old school Japan Hogan. Vintage Gloop. Glenn got the pair for 20. Good deal. They're in good shape. They'll go good with his 118 scale A-Team helicopter and the big plastic uh, Ertl A-Team van, the big plastic one. They look good displayed with it, so. Old school Oscar Mayer plastic bank. I'm gonna get one of those one day, whenever I can remember. A lot of greedy comics, holy jeez. Okay, let's go rescue Glenn and pull him out of here. He's got enough for the day. Here's an example of the 118 I unboxed the other day. Same company and everything, but this is the dirty version. Uncle Jesse's truck was never clean. Same thing though, but miniature. Can't get it at Walmart, hobby exclusive. Ooh, he's got the new wave of the wrestlers. Justin, check those out. Oh, Mr. T, that's awesome. Love it. I believe they already did a Mr. T, but maybe I'm mistaking it with the Motu one. That new Macho Man's awesome. I love the robe. That's killer. Hi, uh, Dick Tracy. I have the prototypes to those. They're for sale if anybody's interested. Mike's always got the hobby exclusives I've never heard of. Joey Chitwood's Thrill Show. 
I love the old graphics and everything on it. Oh, I like the looks of that Golf Mustang. Very nice. It's the black version of my Optimus Prime. They had it in New York yesterday. Highway 61, they made Texas Chainsaw Massacre and it came with the Leatherface figure. I would love to see how that looks out of the box. <laughs> Pink slips, Porsche. Those are nice. Jada has stepped it up. I didn't even realize that was Jada when I first seen them, but that is nice stuff. Ah, uh, that is awesome. That's a cool slot car. My yellow Superbird in slot car form. Well, my former yellow Superbird. A little better look at these ones. These are different. Just shows the different episodes they did. Very cool though. Never saw them before. Good price for a Chase, 40 bucks. On a 24 scale, can't beat that for a toy show. Me and Glenn did real well. We each got a car that we both needed. Classic Ertles that look like they came out of the store yesterday. And because we bought both, we got a deal. And that's one that I needed. I think I need Starsky, Herbie, and maybe one more, which would be Reservoir Dogs, if I can get a good deal. But unboxing video coming for this guy. I cannot wait to see it. It's gorgeous out of the box. And then I'll show you this funny deal, guys. First time hitting up, I've had people tell me go to the uh, dispensaries on the reserve. So I bought potent like a quarter of weed right there right the guy tells me tells us if we spend a hundred bucks we get a free ounce so i'm thinking oh let's do that i'm thinking we get like a free ounce to split right nope free ounce each <laughs> crazy and it's decent looking stuff too but this stuff looks killer but now it's worth my while see before Driving a half hour out to the reserve to get gas for a dollar thirty-eight a liter wasn't worth it because I would burn off my discount, right? But if I'm getting all this weed for a hundred bucks, it's worth my while to drive out there. I'll be cheech until the cows come home. I cannot believe the condition this is in. This is probably the nicest condition of an older one I've ever gotten. I thought it was from 2003 or something. 2000 stopped and picked up a bunch of stuff i'm going to be listing on marketplace and having good luck with marketplace yesterday they come pick the stuff up or not yesterday lately but i list it they come pick the stuff up they try to be ridiculous and lowball me i could say no and i don't gotta feel bad <laughs> so if you're interested in anything and can pick it up in hamilton i'll be listing the marketplace later I'll show you all the awesome stuff Glenn scored, but this is my favorite score of the day here. Got both of these, got the price down to two bills for both of them. Now what stands out for both of these, this one's from 2002. This one's from 2000. This is probably the best condition I've ever got. Like you could look at the cardboard, you see the ribbing still in it, like it's, uh, they look like they came out of Walmart today. Older collector. See the original price on each was 110. He said he'd take two for both of them. I had something my partner Glenn wanted. Glenn also needed this, the Ertl one. Boom. But I'll show you the rest of the scores too. I'm gonna give you a sneak peek. But I got one from 2000. Gonna unbox it in a video. Glenn got this. We got a good deal. We got both of them for 200 bucks. They had 110 on each of them. The boxes are just mint. What a day that was, guys. Came home, had to take a nap. Woo! Dave liked to go out early. But it's all good. We had a heck of a day. But, um, yeah. Go out, I'm going to have a cheech, and then I'm going to show you, you see what I picked up, my American Graffiti car that we are going to be unboxing, but that's not going to be this video. But Glenn killed it today, so I'm going to show you guys what he got. He got some uh, not only die cast, but he got some killer slot cars, so wait till you see what he got. 
here's some of the cooler stuff that he got. Well, it's all cool what he got, but he got a good deal on these. Vintage Galoobs, you've seen them earlier in the video. These will look good with his huge plastic A-Team van that was made by Ertl. Yes, Ertl made a big plastic A-Team van. They'll also look good standing by his 1 of 18 Ertl A-Team helicopter. This one's not only rare and die cast, but it's pretty tough to get in that size as well for a slot car. This one I've never even seen as a slot car before. First day I seen that general on the card like that as a slot car. I've seen them as die cast, you know, Johnny Lightnings, but very cool stuff. He's even got Cooler's Camaro there below. This deal I really commended him on. That Fall Guy truck, if you look back, I believe it was a guy at the Kulia Toy Show. There was one that was missing a big part of the car right here. And I picked it up. I was looking at it. I needed it at the time because I collected Ertl. It was the last one I needed. But guy wanted 100 bucks. This one is just mint as mint can be. The bubble's clear. Like, look at this, guys. This is from probably 1980, I would guess. But, uh... It's old and it's mint. So he got that Fall Guy truck and this unpunched Hot Wheels truck. This is from like 1980 as well or 81 or 83. I had this as a kid, this very truck. Um, 81 or 80, 81 it says. So he got both of those for... I believe it was either 80 or 100 for both of them. 100, I believe, for both. But killer deal. Anyway, look at the shape they're in. Also grabbed some of the harder-to-get green lights. Now, these are the hobby exclusives. They do not come to Walmart stores, at least not in Canada. Look at this. He's got... Uh, now he's got the smaller Jesse truck that's actually dirty. The smaller green light cars, they did the dirt on them well. I just don't like the bigger ones, the dirt effect. But He's got the chase of Roscoe's car here. I sold him the chase, and now this is the... Uh, or is that Hazard County? I can't see it, but... Dirty fall guy. Uh, Mike Pepe's table. He's always got good green lights that are not in the stores. Like the hobby exclusive stuff. But we both did okay. And of course, guys, you know for me, these were the highlight of the day. Well, my highlight. The guy had them 110 each. Uh, he gave them to us both for 100. I moved stuff around. So this is mine, but it didn't cost me anything out of pocket. Um, but they are both mint as mint can be. Like, I've never seen cars this age this mint, the boxes. Like, this is the mintest I've ever bought right here. Like, you can even see the little, see the perforation on the cardboard still. It's not worn down yet. Crazy. I'm boxing this tonight, but you guys aren't going to see it till tomorrow or the next year's. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for uh, joining us this Sunday to go to the big toy show and to go to the cool dispensary out on the res. I'm going to be going back out there now that it's going to be worth my time to get gas out there now. We got a couple big unboxings coming this week, a couple big mail days coming, so stay tuned for those. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned for the boxing of that big, bad uh, Ertl American Graffiti. I can't wait to get into that. Those are beautiful. The hood apparently goes up forward on it, eh? So I can't wait to see that. The guy had that sold those to us told me that he had the two-lane blacktop 55 Chev at the Woodstock show a month ago, and he sold it for a hundred and a quarter. That hurt. That hurt the testicles here and that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please, as usual, hit the like button for me, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and share. And as always, happy hunting, guys.